Hello everybody and thank you for joining me today. It's Alison from Happy Soul. So although this video has been inspired because of the last two years that we've been in the pandemic, you can repeat this throughout time because the theme today is about being afraid of the unknown. And I'm sure you'll agree the last couple of years we've had a global collective fear response because we've not known what's going to happen. So before I um, continue, please I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss out on getting future videos. If you enjoy my videos, which are freely given, please like and do leave your comments. That's all I ask. Just some interaction is wonderful, helps people <clears throat> to feel inspired and to understand that they too can feel better in quite a short space of time. So what we're going to do today is focus in on what you're feeling afraid of about the future. Everybody will have different fears of the future and the unknown. So your job is to tune into what it is. Are you particularly afraid of how your community is going to look in the future? What the money financial system is going to be like in the future? Are you afraid for your health in the future? Your age, your family, your friends? Are you just simply feeling overwhelmed because you don't know how all of this is going to play out? Every day <clears throat> at the moment we are all faced, particularly right now, with the fear of the unknown. So being human means that we don't know the future. And when we don't know the future and we feel afraid, it puts us out of alignment with love, with the present moment, which is often good. And then it can get us into a state of feeling low and flat, maybe depressed, helpless, hopeless. So although you may not have the answers about how the future is going to be in your life, let's clear the fear response to that worry so that you can be more present, maybe feel lighter, hopeful, connected. So as always, take care, be responsible for yourself. If you're new to tapping, you can watch my video before on how to tap on my website. There will be links below on this, e um, on this video as well. But it's not necessary. Just tap along with me and keep really tuned in. If you get teary, just tap through it with me. You will feel lighter. So first off, connect by closing your eyes for a moment. Connect to what you do on your own sometimes, which is, oh goodness me, what's going to happen in the future? I don't know how things are going to play out. Notice where you feel that in your body. And let's tap on that fear of the unknown. So we're going to tap the side of the hand. You can do right or left. Connect, slow it down. Take a moment to be in your body, actually, before we tap. And just breathe. Connected to what you're about to do is and which is to acknowledge your feelings instead of distracting, being with them so you can let them go. Connect to the fear of the unknown for what it is particularly for you. And let's go side of the hand and repeat after me. Even though I have this fear in my body and notice where it is, I love and honor myself even though I'm really afraid of the future. I don't know what's going to happen, but I love and accept myself and I'm here to let go of this fear of the unknown. One more time, connect to what it is you're particularly worried about. Even though I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm open to the possibility 
of trusting the process and myself. Good, top of the head, just connecting to the fear in your body, where it is, all this fear of the unknown. Eyebrow point where the hair begins. All this fear of the future, side of the eye. All this worry, I just don't know what's going to happen under the eye. All this worry and fear under the nose. This uncertainty about the future. Tapping the chin. I don't know what's going to happen. Collarbone. I have this fear in my body of the unknown. Let your mind just go there a little bit. It might be to do with health, finances, relationships, what's happening globally right now, how it's all going to play out, what's going to happen, how's it all going to change. Is it going to change? Just stay with that anxiety so we can let it go. All this anxiety. When are things going to get better? And the ribs. All this fear of the unknown. Take a breath. Relax, let go. If you're new to tapping, you might feel a little tingling. You might feel more emotion. That's okay, we're going to keep tapping. We're going to do the nine gamut now, which is a nine step process. Tap between your little finger and your ring finger, about an inch away from your wrist in that groove. Place your hand on your chest to keep it steady. Close your eyes for a moment, connect to the fear of the unknown. What's going to happen? How's it all going to play out? Is it going to change? Am I safe? Just connect to that remaining anxiety. Open your eyes, find a focal point in front of you as you tap your hand. And just repeat all this anxiety. Head still, eyes hard down, left to the floor. And straight ahead. Hard down, right to the floor, head still. Look straight ahead. Breath in and out. And let it go. Just say with me, I have this fear of the unknown but I'm open to releasing it just connect to where you're feeling the anxiety in your body as well head still eyes up to the ceiling now you're going to take your eyes around the clock clockwise and six o'clock is the floor so imagine there's a clock in front of you don't start yet first connect to that anxiety and the fear of the unknown eyes up now and go very slowly clockwise super slow so going slowly around tap your hand all this anxiety slow it down all this fear of the unknown we're at quarter past now all this anxiety going slowly down to the floor six o'clock how is it all gonna play out whatever that is you're worried about, looking down to the floor. This fear of the future. Good, up the other side. I feel anxious. I don't know what's going to happen. And slowly up the other side. This anxiety in my body. Good, we're at quarter two. We're going slowly up. To the ceiling, this fear of the unknown. Good, up to the ceiling. Relax your eyes now, close them for a moment and massage that point and take a breath in. Conscious breath out. Just take a moment to do some little baby breaths now. Notice what your body's doing, how's it feeling. Hopefully you're getting a little calmer. You might be tingling, you might be teary now. Just go with it. Okay, so we're gonna hum happy birthday on the remaining feeling of anxiety or sadness or whatever's coming up for you, but try and reduce the anxiety before jumping to another emotion if you can. Hum with me and use the vibration of your voice 
to dissolve the anxiety and the fear of the future so that you can be present and at peace and have more, more clarity perhaps. Gentle breath in and out. Release, let go. I'm going to count out loud to five. We're using the logical and the creative part of our brain now. And we don't want to be stuck in the logical and the analytical for too long. We want to be more creative and expansive and connected to joy and possibility. So let's just count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to go back to the creative part, which is the expansion. The, oh, well maybe things are going to get better, not worse. Maybe I can be a part of things getting better. And you will be when you're more aligned to love and joy and connection. Connect to what's left of anxiety or sadness or what other emotion came up and hum again. <laughs> Keep tapping. <laughs> Relax your arms down, roll the shoulders back and forth. Open your heart space, take a nice breath in. Feel your heart open, your heart chakra opening to possibilities of more connection, more joy, more creativity, new ideas about how things can shift and change. Good, we're just gonna go back to the side of the hand. We're keeping this quite short, so I'd like you to repeat as often as you need to when you're in the fear of the future or the fear of the unknown. Good, back to the side of the hand. Even though I was feeling afraid and very uncertain about the future, I'm open to feeling more joy. I love and honour myself. I'm doing my best. One more time. Even though I had anxiety, it's understandable, but I choose peace and calm now. I choose to trust my process and where I and everyone else is at right now. One more time. Even though it's really uncomfortable not knowing what's going to happen, I'm open to feeling more safe and secure. Good. Top of the head. Tuning into how your body's feeling. I choose to feel safe and secure. Eyebrow. Creative and expansive side of the eye. I choose freedom within, under the eye. Peace and joy within, under the nose. Gratitude for being alive, tapping the chin. So grateful for Mother Earth, collarbone. Grateful that I am here now. Let's say that one again. I'm grateful that I am here right now under the arm. I choose to feel calm and confident and the ribs safe and secure. Nice breath in, hands on your heart. Just use nice gentle breaths in and out. Relax on the out breath, let the belly drop. Everything relaxed, feel the weight of your body in the chair, feet on the ground connected to Mother Earth, to the healing opportunities and qualities of nature. And I really encourage you to spend more and more time 
in nature even if you can just stand on the grass somewhere. Feel the vibrations now around your body. Coming home to yourself in this moment. We all have fear and uncertainty, but you can do this tapping to acknowledge that fear and come back to love. Love grows and love is a ripple effect when you feel it within yourself, you share that with those around you, you feel more hopeful and creative. So I encourage you to do this at least twice a day for a week, connected to whatever it is first that you're afraid of, what you feel so uncertain about. As I said, it could be the pandemic that we're currently going through. It could be your health, your family, your friends, your job. We're human, so please forgive yourself. Have compassion for yourself and others. Thank you so much for tapping with me today. Please like, subscribe and do leave your comments. It's really nice to know that you're here share how it helps you to feel after you've tapped and share the video please lots of resources and links below um, if you want to connect with me to work with me privately or if you want to attend one of my online tapping workshops i also run a weekly group on thursday specifically for anxiety and other emotions that people are going through it's just an hour and it's very affordable so take care, please leave your comments, love to know how you've got on after your tap and have a great day. Bye for now.